Uh, honestly, I don't know. I was just trying uh, to do my best. I was trying to fight for every point and was hoping that uh, I'll have uh, opportunity to turn this match around. And yeah, super happy that I was able to do that. And yeah, happy with this tough match and with this tough win. Congrats on a great win. Um, how important in that second set, even though you were like a set and a breakdown, you started to get through service games a little bit easier than you had in the first half of the match. How much did that kind of settle things for you in terms yeah. of kind of helping you elevate your level through the end of the match? I mean, yeah, definitely. Um, I was struggling a lot on my serve in the first set and definitely those kind of like easy games on my serve gave me a bit more belief that I still got some chance chances in this match and um, and yeah that's kind of like gave me an extra energy to keep fighting and keep trying on her serve to break her and get back in the match but yeah it was very important to um, kind of like get back to normal on my serve and uh, yeah to keep fighting for for this match Hi, Arena. You have incredible stats on tie breaks uh, this uh, year. Uh, how can you explain it? What was the, sorry, what, what incredible did Incredible stats, statistic on tie breaks. You have won like uh, uh, 11 tie, tie breaks oh, on, really? on 13. Didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Can you explain uh, what what is your mind and my, your mindset during the tie break and in this final one? Uh, probably the thing that I'm not thinking about the statistics is also helping me a little bit, but uh, the mindset is just to stay aggressive and to focus on myself and focus on things I have to do in this in this match uh, to get the win, and yeah, just try to not to think that not to think about anything else. Um, yeah, that's the main that's the main um, mindset on the tie break is just to keep staying aggressive and not trying to. I don't know, like be safe or like not to risk. Uh, for me, it's uh, it's worked better when I go for for sh for my shots and when I risk risk sometimes. It's actually working better. Uh, looking to the final, what is your feelings? I mean, uh, it's 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 a great. Uh, it's going to be a great final. We had so many great matches with Iga, always tough battles, and and I'm super excited for this final. And um, once again, I'm gonna do everything I can to get this win. You've beaten her uh, last year in finals. Uh, will you adopt the same strategy or? <laughs> I mean, I think that we're all improving and we're all changing uh, throughout the year. So I'm going to watch her matches and see if I have to adjust my strategy. <laughs> uh, but the main strategy for me is just to focus on myself and to stay aggressive and just uh, trust my shots. And that's it. Um, congrats. Um, Elena said, mentioned that the um, uh, when she was serving for it at 5-4 at 30 all, she missed the forehand. That was might have been a turning point. You, you said that you, you're focused on yourself, but do, are you aware of when your opponent's even ner nervous and moments like to capitalize on that? I didn't get your question at all. <laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll it's quite sure. late. Um, you, what you did she mention? What was the? Uh, I don't even remember, <laughs> to be honest. Like, so it's tough when, to when she served for the match at 5-4. I was serving. She was serving for the match. What was the... Second set. Sec second set, and yeah. And she was and she missed the forehand. She missed the forehand. Yeah. I mean, clearly you, you don't remember. What was the forehand? The, so the like, white, yeah? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, probably there was the key moment. Yeah, uh, but are you aware? Are That's you aware? what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't know how I was able to come back in this match. Probably she missed her opportunities. I used my opportunities. And, and yeah, that's it. You know, maybe that was the key key point. I don't even remember. Wow. I mean, I'm, my memory is terrible, guys. You know, if, if you ask what happened to me 10 minutes ago, I'll be like thinking, OK, what was there? You know, so. <laughs> this is probably a terrible question then. But um, <laughs> on the match 12 months ago against Iga okay. here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You can say I don't know. But um, do you, how high do you rate that performance in that final against her? 
in terms of your quality on clay. Was that the best clay court match you had ever played? Yeah, ever definitely. Played? I would say that that was the best match I ever played, uh, especially on clay court. And I think the level was just super high and um, it was clean. It was, it was um, in, intense, uh, powerful game. And yeah, like I, I think that was the best final, final I ever played. Coming into that match uh, last year, I remember you were saying that you had specific training blocks with Iga in mind that you needed to catch up to her. Yeah. Did that continue during the year after you beat her that day? It's not that strong, but you know, when when I'm working working out, working out really hard and going through tough uh, uh, moments on the practice uh, court or in the fitness, I was thinking like I, I have to, I have to keep working, keep improving, and keep, keep getting better, make sure that I stay, um, not stay actually, that I'm getting better and, and, and that I'm going to get closer to this number one uh, position. And I'm going to put a little more pressure on on, uh, on uh, top players. So that's that's always there, you know, like, it's, it's good. I like it. Uh, that's why I like uh, this, you call three of us, you know, big three. That's why I like it because I feel like we, motivating each other and we are not giving not giving like what I was about to say so we kind of like giving each other hard times so we always have to keep working hard and keep keep searching for 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 things guys it's quite late I'm like my thoughts are like off uh, in the beginning of the tournament you have uh, spoke spoken about the a big two uh, you are in the final is there the big three back I mean, we'll see how the season will go, you know, it's just one tournament. Uh, they've been playing really great on each tournament and didn't drop the level uh, much. And I've been off for, I don't know how many tournaments, don't even want to think about that. So we'll see how the season will go and hopefully we'll get back to this big three. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.